Hi, we've been doing the Alpha course here at Sunderland Elam and um, one of the, the pivotal questions when you start that is, you know, why am I here? What's the point? Who am I? What am I here for? It's a question I've actually heard so many times in various spheres of life, um, as if the pandemic has kind of really sharpened people's uh, senses and thoughts and people are questioning what is life all about. Well, as Christians, we believe that our purpose is to walk in relationship with God, to have that close relationship with him. And that relationship is eternal. And that we will glorify God. To glorify means to, to give honour, to give praise. There are various ways in which we can bring glory to God. Um, and we'll be looking at some of them in coming weeks. But one way is to actually live out our intended purposes. Jesus himself acknowledges this. In John chapter 17, verse 4, we read, I have brought you glory on earth by completing the work you gave me to do. You see, here Jesus is acknowledging that the work is finished. He's done what God the Father had asked him to do. And that action gave glory to God. And it's exactly the same for us. You know, we bring to glory to God when we intentionally fulfil the purpose that God has for our lives. But what's really good about it is that we don't need to worry or we don't need to carry the burden of creating that purpose. You see, God has already determined our destiny. He's already had the vision of our life. He's already dreamed the big dream. God knows the end from the beginning. I want to share a few verses. If we turn to Isaiah 46 and it's verses 8 to 10. Remember this. Fix it in mind. Take to heart, you rebels. Remember the former things and those of long ago. I am God. There is no other. I am God. There is no one like me. I make known the end from the beginning, from ancient times, what is still to come. I say my purpose will stand. I will do all that I please. God has determined our end. It's a bit like a builder. A builder doesn't just start um, building a house by right, just digging a hole, putting some random bricks together. The starting point in building a house is to look at the end point, the house. What's the house going to look like? How big is it going to be? You start with the end product and then you come backwards through time. This is what I want. So how do I get there? Well, these are the measurements from between the walls and, and this is where the water pipes will be in the sewage pipes. This is how the electrical system will need to work. And, and all of these things are determined and plans are written and, and a scheme of works is devised. And all of that happens before any work is done, before any materials are ordered. You start with the end. And that's what God has done. God has determined our end. God has determined our purpose. Now, all we have to do is bring glory to him by walking in it. He knows the end. And he wants us to start at the beginning with him and to journey through time to that end. We give God glory. We walk with him and he will guide us.